Anastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a double sweet ripple blanket. You can find the written pattern on my website, Anastasia.com. To do this, you will need some Red Heart Super Saver. We will be holding two strands together throughout to make this blanket soft and thick. So I would suggest about three skeins of each color. And I'm using a larger hook. Feel free to use an even larger hook. Hold two strands of yarn together and make a slip knot. Chain 131. If you need help with the basics of crochet, please see my beginner crochet videos on YouTube. Your chain should measure about 50 inches. And it will shrink to about 45 inches once fully crocheted. If your chain is too small or too large, feel free to use any of these other starting chain numbers. To begin, make one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And make one double crochet in each of the next six chains for a total of seven double crochet stitches. Five, six, and seven. Here is what yours should look like at this point. Skip two chains and make a double crochet in the next chain and then make one double crochet in the next six chains for a total of seven double crochet stitches. And seven. That forms a peak at the bottom. Now we're going to chain two. Don't skip anything. Just do one double crochet in the next seven chains. two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You can see how that chain two formed a peak at the top. Now, since we did the chain two to form an upwards peak, we're going to skip two chains at the bottom to form a downwards peak and make seven double crochet stitches. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Next, chain two, which forms an upwards peak. Make one double crochet in each of the next seven chains. You can see how we just alternate between creating upwards and downwards peaks to form the ripple. When you get at the end of the row, you will do your seven double crochet stitches. However, you will need to put one more double crochet stitch in the very last stitch. It's probably a good time to measure your work to see if it is the width that you would like. To review, we did seven double crochet stitches to begin. Then we skipped two chains. Then we did seven more double crochet stitches. Then we did a chain two, followed by seven more double crochet stitches. Skip two chains and make seven more double crochet stitches. And then chain two. When we get to the end, we do our seven double crochet stitches 
but put one more double crochet in that last stitch. And that corresponds to our extra initial chain three at the beginning of the row. For row two, begin by chaining three. And then turn your work. In that first stitch, do one double crochet in the back loops only. And then make one double crochet in the next six stitches, back loops only, for a total of seven double crochet stitches. Now, since our previous row had the downwards peak, we're going to do the same in this row. Skip two stitches and make one double crochet in the next stitch. Do six more double crochet stitches for a total of seven double crochet stitches. You can see how it looks. Since our previous row had an upwards peak here, we're going to chain two. Then do one double crochet in the next seven stitches. Now it's time to skip two stitches and make one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And here's what that looks like. Keep doing this across. At the end, remember to put an extra double crochet stitch in that very last stitch. Now, if you'd like to change colors, just cut both yarn strands and tie a knot on your new color. However, if you want to have a soft blended effect, cut only one strand of yarn and then tie a knot on your new color and then just pick up where you left off. Chain three, turn your work, and then crochet with the two different color strands of yarn at the same time. Just follow the pattern of the previous row. If there is a downward peak, skip two stitches. If there is an upwards peak, chain two. And remember that very last stitch will need an extra double crochet stitch in it. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on the subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to like and comment on this video. Check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.